Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiyanka, and if you like all things lifestyle, beauty, and doing things yourself, you might as well hit that subscribe button and join the family. And don't forget to turn that post notification bell on to all so you'll be notified every time I drop a video. So today we are going to be doing yet another set. It is Christmas themed because it's like, what, a few days until Christmas? I'm so excited, y'all. But of course, we're going to go in with a base coat after our nails have been shaped and buffed or filed to our liking. Go in with your base coat and then cure for 60 seconds. All right, so we're going to be doing a purple set. Um, I'm, I did get a comment asking for a purple set. I'm going to see if I can post a comment on the screen. But thank you so much for your comment and thank you for, you know, watching my videos. I really appreciate you. But yeah, I had to mix two colors and... Let me just say I'm sorry now because, yeah, I thought I was recording. But y'all see that purple right there on the ring finger? That's the purple that I had to mix with some white polish to get that lighter purple. Because I really only had dark purple and like fuchsia. It looked it more so pink to me. So I wanted to, you know, get more of a purple color. And then for the other three nails, I'm just going in with that Mamita um, new polish that I love that I've been using in just about all of my videos. But yeah, I went in with two coats of each color cured for 60 seconds, right? And now I'm going in with a matte coat, matte top coat from Beatles. All right, so after we cure the matte top coat for 30 seconds, no, 60 seconds, yeah, 60 seconds, I'm going in with a simple sweater design. Now, most of the, my sets from here on out gonna have probably some sort of sweater design because I really love these designs, and plus I wanna, you know, practice a little bit more. But this, to me, this way here, making the two lines, all the way down and then connecting them is the easiest way for me and i feel like it comes out looking better than just making the little squiggle parts in one little motion so i'm just gonna go back over some of them and make them a little bit thicker and just fill the polish in a little bit more i feel like when the polish is raised up off the nail a little bit like a little thicker and not completely flat it makes the sweater design come out so much better and sort of i feel like making it look a little bit 3d or 2d i don't know it's just not flat you know so i'm just going back in and then i'm gonna go in and um connect them Now, I don't watch a lot of nail tutorials, and y'all see how I'm, I got my pinky just like out, it's, it's resting on my middle finger, and it's giving me control over the brush. 
the brush is a long brush and I know some of y'all might be intimidated of it because I know I was and I wasn't really using a longer brush for my nail, my nail art. But once I started, I automatically put my pinky out and I feel like it's just, I don't know, I don't know, is is na not nature, but you're going to put your, your pinky out. Like, you're not gonna have to remember, oh, let me put my pinky out and use it as an anchor. It's just gonna feel right and your hand is gonna feel like you're supposed to do that, especially when working with the longer brush. Now, I want y'all to try it and, and tell me if that's the case for y'all. I know it was the case for me. For some reason, that pinky just kept coming out and it wouldn't go back in. <laughs> it wouldn't go in. So, it definitely helps using your pinky as an anchor. And this is why I'm going to continue to practice these sweater nails because I can never get it in the middle. But it still came out cute. So I'm gonna just go ahead to the next step. And you know, just using that little cheap kiss acrylic powder that I got from Family Dollar all over the um, wet polish. So you don't cure it after you make the design. And I tried to be cute with the little nail thing again, but mm -mm, no just pour it over it and I do cure for like six or seven seconds and then dust off but it's cute all right so I'm gonna put a picture up on the screen of the type of snowflake that I actually like but I'm gonna go ahead and try this little dot one and I didn't want to do this one because honestly y'all I only got one nail art brush the long one and I, it was already in the purple, and I honestly didn't feel like cleaning it, but I did. So I'm just going in with the back of that brush because I was being lazy, didn't want to look for the dot into. So using the back of the brush, making little dots with, you know, white gel liner from Model Ones. And this is super white, but I really feel like the matte background or base is helping bring out the color. So you make your dots in a, a T and then you go in between and make a dot there. And then you take your longest skinniest brush, start from the middle and like flick out when you get to that end. So you start in the middle, you draw your line, connect the dots and then you flick it. Flick the end, like flick it. <laughs> but yeah, you just do that all around, connect your dots and flick at the end just to give it that little pointy end. And mind y'all, I learned this off of TikTok, so don't think I'm a pro. And just know this is my first time doing this actual snowflake. But I honestly feel like it came out really, really good. And I felt like it came out so good that I done did another one. <laughs> so this nail will have two snowflakes because I was really feeling myself. And I'm like, this came out really, really good for my first try. And for me not to like this kind of snowflake, it came out pretty good. So I did go back in and just um, enhance that little dot there and flick it out a little bit. And that's just gonna have to do. But that's really cute, y'all. What y'all think? Let me know in the comments. And let me know if y'all would have, like, sugar dusted the snowflakes. Because I was thinking about doing that. But I was so happy with the fact that it came out so good that I didn't want to, like, cover cover it up. My little handwork. Flick of the wrist, you know. But hey, let me know how I did in the comments with these snowflakes, y'all. I think they came out pretty good. I just want to say that if y'all do decide to, you know, sugar dust it or put glitter over it, you just want to make sure not to cure and you want to make sure that you pour, you know, put in that sugar dust or the glitter 
whatever it is over the wet polish. All right, so now I'm just gonna fill in the empty spaces with some little dots with the same gel liner from Model Ones. I really like this. Like this gel liner, it comes with black and gold and silver, and I think it's really, really nice. Okay, so we're gonna go in with a French on the thumb, and y'all, when I tell y'all, I'm literally just winging it. I'm literally just winging it. I was in my little zone. I honestly forgot the camera was on, but I I don't know. I don't know how to tell y'all or teach y'all how to do a French yet. So just, just rock out with me on this part, y'all. Feel free to fast forward, but just know that I'm not following no technique, no hack. I'm just literally going in looking at it from different angles just to see what looks right and definitely trying to perfect the smile line before going in with filling in the nail so yeah y'all just just watch this part please <laughs> and when i find a way of course there are hacks so if y'all if y'all see the hacks where you know you can make the two lines and make a little a or make dots and connect the dots by all means necessary. If that's easier for you, please rock out. But I want to learn it my way, opposed to learning it from the hex. Of course, it would be so much easier, but this is just what I want to do. Like, I only had time to pull up another video on a device and watch it. You know, I just wanted to, I wanted to do it. And I was in my zone, my little element. And my, I think my, my, my sister had my kids. So, yeah, and I think it came out pretty good. So I went in and cured that, and of course I did a second coat, cured that second coat as well, and now we're just gonna move on to the next nail. So with this nail, I'm gonna be doing the player design. So as y'all can see, I'm using the actual nozzle or liner that came with the polish, and I, I hate it. I hate it, but I'm gonna just go in and make a, a T. And I want these lines to be like thick because I'm going in with um, the purple line next. After you create your cross design, you go ahead and cure it at least for 30 seconds. So when you go ahead and make your next lines with the next color, it won't go inside of you know the white and just be bad. So cure after each step. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the purple. Now, I'm not too sure how I feel about this um, plaid design. I don't know if I should have did black, but I really didn't want to do black because it's supposed to be a purple set. But I just feel like even with the black, I still don't know how I would feel about this design. Now, I'm definitely going to keep practicing. No, it's not going to be on all of the sets from here on out, but we got to get these lines down pat with the straightness and with the darkness. Okay, so for the all purple nail, we are gonna go in with some stones. She's gonna be blinged out for sure. I did get these stones from Sheen and they're not clear. They have like a purple, pinkish, like um, iridescent light to it. They so pretty. 
Um, I got them from Sheen, and if you haven't seen my Sheen nail art haul, definitely go check it out. I'll try to link it in the cards above and the description box below. Now, these stones are not flat back, so that's why you see me putting it underneath the light every time I put a stone on. And I'm curing it for like 10 seconds in between, in between each stone, just so it could be, you know, stuck in one place. So, I am using some nail glue. The glue that you use for like gel X nails. And I really don't know what be going through my mind every time I go on Amazon. When I tell y'all I order something from Amazon just about every day, I order something from Amazon just about every day. And not once do it ever cross my mind until I'm actually doing a set that I need some of the um, McCart's rhinestone glue. Like there is actual glue for stones. And I don't know why I haven't ordered it yet, but I'm gonna order it soon. But here we are, y'all. This is the final set, and I love it. The only thing I wish I would have did different was add some more of the light purple in it. But, of course, we can always save it for the next set. But thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.